simply loves. But what about food? How much should we be eating? Go back a thousand years, um, even two thousand to Hippocrates.、Uh, it was common knowledge that、uh, fasting was good for us, and as consumers、uh, and companies were, you know, motivated to make us eat more,、uh, we were taught and marketed at、um, so that we would eat three meals a day and snacks in between. And you know, you turn on TV, and that's what everyone's saying. You got to eat all the time,、uh, and that's a great way to sell a lot of products. But it's also harmful.、Uh, and we've shown in my lab and in, in hundreds of labs actually around the world that you need you you don't want to always be hungry or、uh, uh, full. You want to be hungry some part of the day. And as long as you're not starving or you're malnourished, it's actually very beneficial. Now it's different if you have a disease. If you have Type one diabetes or or some other metabolic condition, that's def- different. Talk to your doctor about that. But people like us who have regular metabolism, eating three meals a day, I think, is the worst thing you can do.、Um, your body will eventually、uh, just become complacent, not turn on the body's defenses, and、uh, so you can actually、uh, feel pretty good by by being hungry during the day. And we've shown in many different species, from mice to dogs to monkeys, that being hungry, in the long run, is very good for you. And it's not just about what we eat, right? But it's also when we eat.、Mm-hmm. So you, for example, talk about how you don't normally have breakfast. By the way, I don't either. My entire life, I struggled with not. Wanting to have breakfast, but being forced to have breakfast. Whether initially it was by my mom, who said, "What do you mean? You can't leave the home without having, you know, these eggs and milk and the rest of it, you know, oatmeal."、Um, and I remember feeling nauseous and sick in the morning because it's just that's just not what my body type is. I wasn't designed to eat in the morning. And then again, there's people who wake up starving, like my little one, who's I say little one, she's fifteen.、Um, you know. She needs to eat. She wakes up and she's starving. She's、um, that's why I like the Ayurvedic body types because they they do a good job of saying, hey, if you're a Pitta, you're going to wake up hungry and you should eat. But if you're a Vata, which is what I am, you're probably not interested in eating first thing in the morning, and your metabolism gets going closer to around noon, and that's when. So I get famished between noon to four. I'm just Feasting, I get so hungry. I'll go through two thousand, three thousand calories without a blink. Like it's insane how much I can take in. But then I'm done at six, and I really can't eat after six. I'm just、yeah. full. Well, what, what what I've learned, but that that I think is really fascinating,、um, by monitoring my blood, I can see why I don't want to eat in the morning. Ah, I have a body type where just as I'm waking up in the morning, I my body makes its own sugar. Oh. Yeah, so I don't、yeah. need to eat. It's crazy, and and I my mother would also force me to eat breakfast when I was quite my body was making its own food. So you know that's uh we have to learn that we all have different body types. That honoring ourselves, not listening to every stimulus out there, every ad, every commercial, every study, but really going inside and listening and honoring what your body is saying. To you, I think it's just the most important step one in getting to greater health. At least that's been my insight. Does it matter whether we finish our dinner by six or by ten?、Uh, you don't want to eat late at night,、um, typically because the the period of fasting that's beneficial、uh, will extend through the night. And、uh, I'm I'm prone to snacking late at night.、Uh, it's it's stress、uh, really for me. But I try not to. I try to finish eating around eight o'clock at night. Some people try it earlier,、um, but that's it's good for me because I skip breakfast, and so that gives me that whole eighteen hours of、uh, of not eating a lot. Is that the magical number, eighteen hours? Well, there is no magic number.、Um, I think that probably it's it's important to to go without one meal a day,、uh, either. Evening or morning, so you get that long sleep cycle. But、uh, you know, honestly, that we we debate this all the time about which is the best diet. And some people say fast for three days, fast for a week, two days a week, eighteen hours. 
we really don't know, but what I can tell you, it's similar to exercise, that doing nothing is the worst you can do. Right. Do a little goes a long way. What's the minimum period of fasting that's truly a fast? Oh, gosh. Uh, that, it's, it's a spectrum, but I, I would think if you force me, it's more than 12 hours. Okay. Because we know that we don't eat during the night. And uh, so the average person has always fasted for 12 hours a day, uh, typically. And that doesn't give you more than an average life. So you mm -hmm. need to go beyond that. So I, I try to do 18. 